What's up everybody, Jason for Vasa Productions. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make custom backgrounds inside of DaVinci Resolve Fusion. Coming up. All right, so let's just jump in and show you how to create that background here. So come over here, drag the B-roll into the timeline, right? You can see this is around 11 or 12 seconds long right here. And we wanna make this more interesting by laying some motion graphics over it. So we'll create an interesting background by coming over here to the left side and left clicking and dragging a fusion composition over the top of that B-roll clip of the speaker. And then let's bring that over to about the six second mark. We're just gonna make it a little longer than it is. By default, these fusion clips are five seconds longer, these compositions. So now that I have that in the timeline, let's come down to the fusion tab, left click on that. I wanna take the media out and just create some space by dragging that over to my right. I need to take a background node, bring that down into the workspace, and then take the output of that background node and drag it into the media out. And when I do that, you can see it makes a black background, right? We don't want that for this particular design. So I'm gonna come over here to background, it's highlighted, left click on it if it's not. Take the alpha of that and make it completely transparent. So bring that to zero. Take a new background, drag that into the workspace, take its output, put it into the output of the background, which will create a merge. So we have another background right here. And then I'm gonna take an additional background, drag that in, and then take its output and bring it into the other background. So now we have two more backgrounds over our original background, which is transparent. So I wanna take these and make some colors with these. So I'm gonna take this background right here with it highlighted, come over here and left click on black, and just select white here, and then hit okay. And then I'm gonna come over to this background right here and left click on this background right here. And then I'm gonna select a different color for that one as well by coming over here and let's just do a blue. So we have a white background here underneath a blue background, but we can't see the white one because the blue one here is over the top of it right now. So what I wanna do, let's just rename this one right here to blue background, right click, rename blue background so we know which one it is. Let's come up to this one, select it, right click on it. White background, perfect. Now all we have to do to create these custom shapes is use the pen tool right here. So select the blue background here, left click on that, hit the pen tool, there we go. So now it turns it into a completely white space, right? So that's what's underneath that blue background. So all I have to do is come over here and left click right here. I'm gonna hold option and left click here. Option again and hold. So we're making kind of these smoother lines, right? Click, click, and there we've got that first layer of blue background, right? So that looks kind of cool. It's something different, a little different design. Now I'm gonna left click on this polygon one and left click again here to create a polygon two. And up at the top, we're gonna make a little bit of a different design. So I'm gonna left click right here, left click 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 here, and then left click here. And that creates another blue design right at the top, right? I'm not 100% happy with the position of that one. I'm just gonna come over here to the Y position and move this one up a little bit and just change its position on the screen. But that's an easy way for us to make some custom designs, right, on the screen that are different and have a little bit of style to them. All I have to do now is come over here, left click and drag these out of the way. I have the blue background right here, spacebar and shift. I'm gonna hit drop shadow, hit enter, select the drop shadow, hold down shift and drag it over this line. So you can see the drop shadow on the top, but not on the bottom. So I'm gonna change the drop angle and just bring the drop angle down. And you can see now they both have a drop shadow on them, right? So we kind of have this cool design. All I really need to do now is add some text to this to spice it up, kind of make it like a slide, right? Left click and drag these nodes, bring them up, come down, grab a text node, drag the text node into here, right here into the merge. That creates another merge right here. This will be our first line of text. If I right click on this, I'm just gonna name this first line of text right there. And we'll just put Professor Johnson right there. Left click on the color right here. Come over here, let's select black. 
right there, okay? And you can see we have our text right here. If I left click on the text size, I can increase the size of this. And then the layout, I'm gonna bring this up just a little bit right here, okay? I'm gonna make that nice and easy to do. Another thing that you can do, right, is animate this text on. So we can do that really quickly and really easily as well. So let's just come over here. Let's have this text animate on by frame 24. So we got the first line of text right here. I'm gonna click on this keyframe here, come back to the 12th keyframe right here and just take the text and bring it off the screen. Come over to settings, left click on that. Left click on motion blur, come to spline now, select this, left click, left click and drag over these keyframes, S to smooth, hold down option on a Mac, Alt on Windows, and drag that one over right there. Now we have that text animating on the screen just like that. Perfect right there. If I wanna create another line of text that gives the professor's title or some other details of where exactly he works, and come over here, take the text node, drag it in, bring this right here, bring this one right here, the merge, text two, let's just say this is gonna be the school he works at. University of Kansas, right? We'll just select that as a make-believe school. Come over here, black again for the color, and then I can take this text right here and increase the size of it or decrease the size if I wanna decrease the size. I want that text to come on the screen the exact same time as his name, okay? So I'm gonna come over to frame 24. Layout, hit the keyframe, come to frame 12. Left click and drag this to the right this time, like this. Settings, motion blur, spline, left click here. Left click and drag to highlight, S to smooth. Option on a Mac to drag this keyframe out and make it a little smoother, and then come back to the beginning. Let's let it play. And then we have a very, very simple animation. Now the other thing I wanna do is I wanna actually animate this on and off the screen and I'm gonna show you how to do that using some transforms. So all I have to do is take these nodes here, select them, bring them up, okay? Come over here to a transform, drag it over this line between these sections and now I can animate this whole slide on by the 12th frame using this transform right here. If I left click this keyframe right here, come back to the keyframe number zero and just take this and bring this all off the screen. You can see I can move the entire thing off the screen. Hit settings, motion blur to add some motion blur, hit spline, left click here to expand this. Keyframes over, hit S to smooth, option to smooth this out. And now what we have is we have this slide come on and then his name comes on after that. So it looks good, it looks pretty smooth. There we go, and I like the way that looks. Now I wanna animate this entire thing off the screen. So all I have to do is bring these nodes down, take a transform here, hold it over this line and let go, okay? Now I'm gonna come over to the end, which is frame 144. Let's say I wanna go frame 132 where it starts the animation off. Left click this keyframe right here, come to 144, and now I'm just gonna take this off the screen this way. Hit settings, motion blur, spline, Left click to zoom here, select these, S to smooth, hold option, bring it over, and then we end up with this effect. Spacebar, name comes on, and then everything moves off together. So you can see how we made this slide pretty quickly and easily with a minimal number of nodes. And then we have that kind of that cool, interesting background, right? So we have this kind of funky background color, a little drop shadow on it with the person's name. If we go back to the edit timeline, we can see that now. And let's just let this play a few times. You can see him speaking right there, right? Here comes our custom slide with his name on it and where he works. And then that zips right off the screen, looks good, right? Looks pretty professional and we did it in a minimal amount of time. All right, so that wraps it up for how to make custom backgrounds inside of DaVinci Resolve Fusion. If you found this video helpful or you feel like you learned something today, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button. I'm Jason for Vossen Productions. We'll see you next time.